All right, this is a very serious video. So no talking, no laughing, and no chewing gum. Okay, today I'm gonna do a review of the fourth arrow fluid head, the uh, carbon arm, and the shoulder attachment to the tree. And um, I'll start at the tree and work my way out. Let me just say uh, that I'm only a foot off the ground, not even, so uh, no shoulder harness today, but don't sweat it, I'm in good shape here. Um, so the very first time I use this, I've been using this for a little over a year now, um, and the very first time I attached this to a tree, I had kind of an irregular bark tree, and one of these fins, uh, when I tightened up the, the strap here, the fin actually bent, because. Uh, all four fins weren't securely attached to the tree because of the, the way the bark was. So that was kind of disheartening that that bent. Um, I just kind of bent it back with a pair of pliers when I got home. Not really a big deal. I really haven't had much of an issue since, but I am a little more cautious about it now, knowing that that metal's a little on the flimsy side at that attachment point. I sprayed down my strap and everything here, the um, ratchet buckle with some uh, spray rubber to help dampen the noise. I also sprayed the whole shoulder system, the ball socket and everything. I took it apart and sprayed it all with some green paint um, because it, you know, it was a shiny silver before and shiny silver in the woods, it just doesn't cut it for me. So I have not had any issue at all with the smoothness of the ball joint or anything. I used a little bit of spray paint, perfectly fine. I would recommend that to anybody using this system. Uh, I think the little arm here to tighten, there's an arm that you use to ratchet down and tighten the shoulder in place. Um, that works well, except for that the string it came with was not ideal, and once in a while the arm would fall out and clank around, and that's never good. So I actually just replaced it with a bungee strap, and I would recommend the people at Fourth Arrow actually uh, switch there. So now it holds securely in place. Don't have to worry about it coming out. There's a little tension on there, so that works out real well. The shoulder, I find it is very easy to make it level. There's a little bubble on there. When you have the arm and the camera on there and everything, I find it goes off level just a teeny bit. So I just overcompensate for that when I tighten up the shoulder now so that it uh, remains level. And uh, I find that portion of it good. I will say that um, I think this whole arm in general is made for a heavy duty camera. I'm using a little consumer camcorder that I take with me in the woods. Um, and it's a, almost a little bit of overkill for that. And I wish that the people at Fourth Arrow made like a lighter version of this. I think it would uh, suit a wider range of people. Uh, the weekend warrior filmmakers, you know, who want to have a little fun and video what they're doing. Uh, so there's this big heavy duty uh, aluminum plate here. I feel like it could be a lot smaller and a lot lighter. This is a heavy piece. And again, for a little small couple pound consumer camcorder, I feel like it's just a little bit of overkill. And I'm a public land hunter. I take all my stuff in and out every time. So it's just, it gets a little heavy to carry this deep in the woods here. And this is made so that this could unscrew. There's a thumb screw here. And this piece could detach from the bracket that attaches to the tree. I leave it attached all the time. I don't want to mess with too much stuff when I come in the woods. I want to set up and be ready as quick as possible. So I leave this attached here. Also, I put a little glue at the bottom of that screw because it was real easy for that thumb screw to just unscrew by itself and pop out. Um, so it takes up a little more room in my bag that way, but for me, as a public land hunter, taking everything out each night, uh, this just works out best for me. You'll see I have three arms. Uh, the carbon arm actually just comes with the two arms, one, two, um, but I did get the extension piece as well. I bought this extension arm at the uh, Harrisburg trade show last year, and it actually, when I brought it home, it didn't fit into the shoulder um, as much as I tried. And I think it was just because it was an early production model or something, and maybe the kinks hadn't all been worked out yet. But I will say the people at Fourth Arrow were very um, helpful, uh, very good customer service, so thumbs up for that. And uh, they sent a new one out to me, no problem. The extension, it's very helpful. I did have a deer last year walk around to my side, and the two arms weren't enough to get all the way around there to film the deer. I mean, I barely got it on camera, but it was a stretch to try to make it over there to that side. So I'm kind of excited about the third arm, being able to reach all the way around the tree without any issue. 
um, but the flaw that I see is there's this little extension bracket that the bolt from the uh, top limb goes into and I feel like that was a mistake because it's so high it makes this whole thing like I don't know another five, four or five inches high um, and when I'm sitting in the tree sometimes you want to just film without having to stand up and now the camera's so far above my head it's like not even in this screenshot um, that it's hard to see the camera and see what's going on I almost have to stand now to, to be able to record which I'm not crazy about if there's a deer mulling around for a half an hour I really don't want to have to stand to film it um, so I feel like they should have just copied what they did on this arm and uh, rig this up so that you could put a bolt right through to the bottom and not worry about this extra extension here. It just, it just makes the thing too high. Um, maybe not five inches, I don't know, three, four inches, but still too much. All right, the carbon arm itself is great. Also, would have been nice if the extension arm came in carbon. You know, you have a carbon arm. Would be nice to match the extension. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Um, the fluid head, I'd say it works pretty good. Um, again, I think it's made for a heavier duty camera because in order to make it fluid, I almost have to loosen these knobs up as loose as they go um, because for my little camcorder, otherwise it jerks a little bit. And it's so loose that I'm concerned it's just a matter of time before these pop out and you know, they just basically unscrew themselves uh, in a heartbeat. So it's a matter of time before I lose those. Um, I wish that, again, they made this suitable for a little lighter due to camcorder and suitable so that these parts weren't so easy to lose. Um, so overall though, I'm satisfied with this product. I did look at uh, the muddies before buying this. Muddies I thought were looked a little heavy and a little bulky. Um, I still feel like this is a little heavy and a little bulky. I feel like they should pare it down a bit. Um, but overall I am satisfied. I'm, you know, I've had no trouble. Um, other than the extension arm that was replaced and well okay I've had a little bit of trouble <laughs> but overall I'm satisfied a little pricey I will say that um, but once in a while you got to go for it all right hope this helped you guys out have fun out in the woods go catch some deer all right one last thing to add the original carbon arm I bought came with a knob here that was a little smaller than this one. It was completely useless. It, I guess it's meant to tighten up the socket a little bit so it doesn't blow around in the wind. Like it moves pretty easily right now and sometimes you don't want it to move quite as easy. Um, but the original one didn't do anything. When I got the extension arm it came with this one here that you could use the same ratchet for to uh, tighten it up and that does help a little bit. It seems like it stiffens it up a bit. So they should just put that on the original version as well. Um, I just wish this thing wasn't so big, but okay, that's it. All right, so one more quick update is that as pretty as that carbon arm was, I wrapped it with some camo cloth held together with some hot glue. Camo is just the way I roll. Also, right after I made that last video, a friend of mine texted me to say that Fourth Arrow apparently did just come out with a lighter version of this arm. So you might want to check that out uh, online. I wish they came out with it one year ago, but it's all good. Now that's it.